So tell us your name and where did you grow up? Well, my name is Claudia Fontaine. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm a West Philly girl. I would say that I was curious, loving, silly, worried. Mm. I think those are some things I would use to describe myself and culture. My, my parents were always exposing me to different things. I can't help but want to peek in a little bit to the worried part. You know, I remember my mother telling me that I was always worried about making friends and being friendly and, you know, just what I have friends. And my mother would always remind me, like, you do have friends, like, look at all these people that are with you, you know? So that was something that I was worried about. Interesting. Um, if you could describe yourself in five words, what would those five words be? Let's see. I would say that I'm silly. That's one of the gifts that God has given me to make people smile. Um, also, along with the silliness is joy. Um, just that I get that from him, you know, that I can just be happy. I can be grateful, you know, in any situation. Um, another one is favor. Um, just, again, connected to God. Just I know how much he has just smiled on me. And I, I couldn't even imagine being where I am now when I was younger. Uh, another word to describe, how many words is that? I think that's three. Okay. <laughs> uh, another word I would use to describe myself is peace because I have peace. Um, and I'm thankful about that. I give God honor for that all the time because I know that that's not everybody's situation. And the last word I'll use is that I am every woman. Yeah. From, you know, being a mother to being a wife, to being a friend, you know, I can, God's given me the strength to do everything, yeah. you know, and and I'm thankful for that. Glad to hear it. I was wondering if you were about to give me another food of the spirit because you basically <laughs> have described all the Listen. foods of the spirit. Now, let's take it back to your 15 year old self. If you could give that person any advice right now at the age <laughs> you're at, what would that advice be? I would say, Claudia, it's okay. Relax. Um, I would tell her that that she is allowed to be who she is, that God gives everybody with a, you know, gives everyone a gift and she has a gift. And just to, I also would tell her, um, the Bible says that we are beautifully and wonderfully made. And I've translated that now into God doesn't make any junk. So if you just think that God doesn't make any junk, then okay, I might be all right, you know? So that's, those are some things that I would tell her, just to relax, be yourself, you'll find your people. You know, you don't have to, to be anybody else. You don't have to try to pretend to be something that you think is the best person. Just, just show up as yourself. Do you happen to have any useless talents <laughs> that you'd like to share with us? Oh, that is such a good question. Uh, I think one useless talent that I have is watching Netflix. <laughs> I can bench it. If I get a good show like Grey's Anatomy, uh, Station 911, ooh, it's just accurate. Ooh, mm. I, that's something I do very well. Do you? Yes. <laughs> Glad In <to> moderation. <laughs> well, we can't binge and do stuff in moderation. How do you balance that? You know, like once a week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not every right. day. It's not too bad. Thank you. That's a healthy binge. <laughs> well, let me ask you a little bit about modeling. Okay. So do you have any experience, both prior pro experience or volunteer basis? Talk to us. So my father was a photographer. Mm -hmm. So whenever he would have a photo shoot, he would have me pose, um, you know, so I would follow direction with him and just, you know, he would, I would learn different things about the lighting and, but, you know, nothing I took serious. It was just my dad hanging out with him, bonding. When I went to Bethune, um, I a lot of people would say, oh, you should be, you should model. You should try out for modeling. And I'm like, eh, you know, like, I don't want to lose weight. Like, what do I need to do? I don't know. So I tried out for Epicurean Modeling Troop. Um, I did not get selected the first time. And I went back next year because, no, hello, you need all of this goodness. Yes, because you're every woman, right? Hello. <laughs> If it's to make you laugh, it's to give you a service project. Oh, I can walk too. So we did different. Um, 
We did different fashion shows where we would, you know, rent clothes from the, or borrow clothes from the mall and walk. I never did any, um, we never really uh, took pictures, but, but it was nice. You know, you get to try different things on and just boost your confidence as well. Glad to hear it. So tell me about, um, outside of modeling for represent, mm -hmm. What do you do professionally? So I am a nursing professor. Mm -hmm. I uncover the hidden talents of students who, you know, they don't know that they're nurses already. And wait, I wait, just, before you oh, move on, did okay. you come up with that yourself? God just gave it to you. Me. Better was it give good? Me some, girl, that was so good. That was so good. Wait a minute. I need you to repeat it again. I don't even what, know what I said. What do you do oh. professionally? <laughs> I'm a nursing professor uh -huh. and I help students uncover their nursing abilities yes. you know people don't know that you know even being a mom you know you automatically know that oh somebody's not breathing or somebody's acting different and so you ask some questions that's the same thing we do as nurses mm -hmm. are you okay how can we help you um you know if somebody's not breathing so you activate that sixth sense yes yeah, yeah. because it's a gut thing it is with, with my students i tell them don't ignore what your gut is saying yes you may feel like you don't know all the terminology right. you may feel like you know you don't have your license but you know if something is wrong so tell me this how did you even become a part of represent african-american photography exhibition well first i'll say i have admired your work your husband's work your family's work um, just maybe for years, you know, just looking, saying, oh, mm -hmm, I know who did that. You know, just really saying like, you know, just, just really realizing how amazing you all were. Then you all slid in my DMs. Yeah, I got a message that said, hey, would you like, and I'm like, yes, whatever it is, of course, you see me? Like, I didn't even know you knew who I was, <laughs> you know? So that's, um, and I feel like I keep talking about God, but really no, he's just please. like the source for me. Yeah. And I feel like it's God acknowledging my heart and my desires, you know, where I want to model and I want to do different things like that, but I don't want to make a, you know, the book that they have with all the photos in it. And I don't want to stand in line. I don't want to do all of that, you know? So I feel like it'll come to me and it has come to me. So I'm so thankful to be connected with you all. Awesome. What would you consider the biggest highlight? The biggest highlight, I think the biggest highlight for me would be to represent. Oh, that's the name of it. it Come is. on now. Go ahead with the re 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 represent. Go ahead now. <laughs> I like how you slid that in there. <laughs> but I loved how, and, and I was thankful that I was able to honor um, African Americans that look like me, you know. African Americans that really have so much to you know offer. I, I was just speaking with my students today about African Americans and how some people have um, a misconception, or a lot of people have a misconception that we're X, Y, and Z when really, honey, we're A, B, and C. Yes. Okay. So I was telling them, you know, that, and this is this is something that um, the whole event. Another thing that really just was amazing to me. I felt like I was at a New York. Um, photo show. I mean, you couldn't tell me that I just, this was just the highest event of the season, which it, it, it truly was. But I felt, I remember walking in and seeing um, Omar, who owns the Kale Cafe. And I just, re I remember the feeling of this, like I just connect with him. Every time I go into the store, he's always so welcoming. He's lovely. You know, how are you doing? How are the kids? And it's yes. like, he knows me. Like, yes. that's so cool. Like, yes. you know, yes. but to, to see the different uh, representation of an African-American man, um, whether happy or sad or angry, or while I've experienced these things in my father, my husband, my, my mm -hmm. sons, my uncle, just to see it in the media or print it was just, it's like, I, I wish I could scream it at the mountaintops that our men are amazing. Yeah. So that was something that really, that really just, just impacted me. And I wish everyone, you know, I, as soon as I left, I said, y'all need to get down. I don't care what y'all doing. It's only, you know, for this day and next time, it'll, maybe it'll be longer, but that was something that really was beautiful to me. All right. So what advice do you have for kids of color who mm -hmm. are desperate for positive rep representation for tomorrow's generation? Okay. I would say that we are the blueprint 
that we are naturally excellent. Mm -hmm. I would say that looking for the things that you desire are not far away at all. You don't have to look far. You, you go to the event, you'll see even this event this year is going to be even more amazing. Please come yes. to it. We would love to see you. Yes. But excellence is right here at your doorstep. You are excellent. So look in the mirror at yourself. Absolutely. The fact that you're even seeking it means that it's already inside. Absolutely. Last question. What's the one thing that you think all races of people can take away from a represent? Not just people of color. I think that all races um, will take away that each group has things that are just so special to them that makes them so unique. So if it's our hair, yes. if it's our, our skin tone, if it's the way we speak, if it's the way we walk, if it's the way we sing or dance, there's all something, there's something that's so special with, with in each group. I think it's something that hopefully that they see that they need to honor that they need to learn more about, that they need to embrace, and that, he, that they need to protect. Absolutely. I want to thank you for your time, Claudia. This has been amazing. So glad to have you aboard once again. And that's it. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I've enjoyed spending time with you. Yes, boo. Give me some love. <laughs> and awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yes. Oh, goodness. Thank you.